Don't give up. Be patient. Keep asking, seeking, and knocking like Jesus said. Come on, Keep on knocking. Man, right. Be the persistent widow. Do not ever give up. That's right. Right. Be enduring. Right. Endure this thing. And guess what happened? After 21 days, hmm. God had already heard his request. Praise he sent an angel, praise God. <laughs> and Michael showed up on the scene and told him, you, your request was heard the first day you hit your knees and asked for yes. it. Yes. <laughs> your son here has been praying. And he's heard your request. And he sent angels your way concerning you. Amen. And he's trying to move some things out of the way. And he's trying to open some doors that no man can close. Oh. And, and, and just be patient. Don't you give up on the Lord. Don't come ever on. give up on come him. On. So his blessings come in his time. Mm -hmm. Just like Joseph was in the prison. Mm. And for something he didn't do. Come on. Many of us have gotten in trouble for things we didn't do. Come on. We've been set up, but Joseph was in the prison and he waited 11 years. Mm -hmm. He waited and waited and waited. And then, and then as he thought he was getting out, <laughs> the man forgot about it. Mm -hmm. The man was supposed to tell Pharaoh some good news to get him out. Two more years he stayed in there. Come on. But he never gave up on the Lord. And guess what? It was perfect time. Mm -hmm. Because if he would have got out early, he would have never been exalted before the kingdom of Egypt. Hmm. He would have never been exalted to the second in charge hmm. behind Pharaoh. Right. But at that time, Pharaoh had a dream. Hmm. And when Pharaoh had a dream, nobody could interpret the dream. But God had given Daniel wisdom. And the man finally remembered, oh, I remember there's a man <laughs> that, that can interpret this dream. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm telling you now, some things take a little longer than we think. But Come God's on. season and God's timing is not our timing and our season. So hang on, yeah. praise God, is what I'm telling you. Because soon as Daniel, soon as uh, Joseph got out, excuse me, not Daniel, but as soon as Joseph got out, it was perfect time. Yes. Because he interpreted Pharaoh's dream and was exalted. Mm -hmm. Praise God. He'd have been another slave if he got out two years earlier. Yeah. It's hard for us to hang on sometimes. We want to jump out there. Come on. Yeah. But I'm telling you, be patient and wait upon the Lord. Those who wait upon the Lord Boy. shall renew their strength. Yeah. Yeah. The fourth will be Paul. Paul, go to, go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Giving thanks in the midst of persecution. All right. Have you ever felt some heat? <laughs> Corinthians what? Chapter, chapter 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. These are just some of the things that Paul went through. Just some of the things mm -hmm. that Paul went through. And yet. Yep. Starting with verse 23. Mm -hmm. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool, I am more, in labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequent, in depths all. Verse 24, of the Jews five times received I forty stripes save one. This man was beaten five times, yes. 39 stripes apiece. Yes. Five times, have you been beaten like that? <laughs> Think about this. Yes. This man was beaten like this and yet he still... <laughs> Come on. He gave thanks Come on. always <laughs> in all things Unto the Father Lord. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ yes. Amen. Even yes. being beat. Now, we these days are a little bit spoiled. Y'all yes. know what I'm talking about? Come on. Come on. You gotta be honest with yourself. Now, man, <coughs> I get beat like this, Lord, I might turn and go the other way. <laughs> Something's wrong. I'm either doing something wrong. And matter of fact, some religious people say, Well, yeah, you're doing something wrong, man. Mm -hmm. Never all over you. No. But Paul wasn't doing nothing wrong. No. He was preaching the gospel. No. And when you preach the gospel, sometimes you're going to be beat. Yeah. I'm telling you, Satan will send people your way to put their mouth on you. When you start going Come to on, church, bro. when you start coming Come the right way, yeah. listen to the gospel being preached, mm. there's going to be people come against you because the evil one's going to put their mouth on you. He's going to cause them to come against you. Mm. Now, in America, you may not be beat. But I tell you what, spiritual oppression can be just as bad as physical oppression. They can get in your mind, and that's why so many are trying to get relief, mm -hmm. because in their mind, they are oppressed. Mm -hmm. They're locked down. They're going through stuff in their <coughs> mind, and they don't know how to get it out. Mm -hmm. You see, you can be beat on the outside, and you'll heal up on the outside sooner or later. Mm -hmm. You may bleed for a while, and it stings, and it hurts. But on the inside, it tears you down from the inside. Mm -hmm. Some of us are going through some mental issues. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it ain't nothing but the old slew foot. <laughs> it ain't nothing but the devil. But God, guess what? Greater is he that is in you. If you're that's saved. it. Right. That's it. He right. that's in, in the, the world. world. The Holy Spirit has power.
God to set you free. Yes, he does. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. This is just one thing. Verse 25, thrice was I beaten with rods. Mm -hmm. Once I was stoned. And that doesn't mean the other type of stone like these people in the 60s, 70s, 80s talking about. He ain't talking about that kind of stone. We talking about this man was stoned. Stoned, yeah. With rocks. rocks. Stoned un almost unto death. Hmm. Mm. And he still, <laughs> he still gave thanks. Thrice, this is three times I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine being shipwrecked in the middle of an ocean, okay. holding on to a piece of wood, and still giving thanks? Yes, yes. Always, Always in all things <laughs> unto the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on. There's some thanksgiving for you. All right. He knew there was something to this. Hmm. Because when he started giving thanks, remember I told you a while ago, God inhabits. Uh -huh. The praises of his people. And you say, well, how can that make a difference if he's in the middle of the ocean on a piece of wood? He's wearing out, he's tired, he's sick, it's cold, it's salt water, he has nothing to drink, he has nothing to eat. Let me tell you something, God's a supernatural God. Come on. Amen. And when he comes down, praise God, and inhabits the praises of his people, mm. he surrounds you and protects you yes. and keeps you. Amen. Yes. He's the one that kept Jesus 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. He's the one that kept Israel 40 years. In the wilderness without their shoes even wearing out. <laughs> Man, I need some of that right there. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because these shoes get high. As much as I walk back forth, I wear them out. But God can keep them if you're yes. to them. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Say, Lord, I'm going to commit this to you. Yes. I'm going to commit my life unto you. Hmm. If you'll commit your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ, He will keep you. Yes. Yes. Real. Yes. Verse 26, in journeyings often, in pearls of water, in pearls of robbers, in pearls of my own countrymen. Oh, that's, that can hurt uh -oh. right there. Your own people. Hmm. Jesus came unto his own. Jesus, Jesus came unto his own. Paul came unto his own, and they received him not. They couldn't stand. They did not want the gospel. Hmm. There are many people that don't want the gospel message for some odd reason. They, it does not register with them, hmm. and they will come against you. His own people, his own countrymen. That hurts. Hmm. You know, I don't say this all the time. It's not like somebody at Walmart or somebody down the road that says something about you. Come You're on. like, I don't even know these people. That's right. But when your own, That's when it. your own come Come against you, those you have to, a love for in your heart, hmm. it stings, it hurts. <laughs> and Jesus came unto his own. He came unto the Jews and they crucified him. They hmm. did not want, can you imagine? But still, they both gave thanks. Yes, Lord. 